What's happening, guys? It's a big day today. It's April 28th, Sunday. We're all down here at the museum. Uh, we just got two truckloads of gear coming in for the uh, Fright Fest. We've got uh, FrightHaven.com. We hired the guy that runs that. Bob will introduce him to him in a second, and we'll talk about what we're going to do. Thanks, guys. Just bought two truckloads of all kinds of props for the Fright Fest, Halloween stuff. Uh, we're doing it right here behind the museum. Ever since we got here, my kids are like, Dad, this would be a perfect spot to do a haunted museum. So we have two haunted walks. This is going to be a big deal. We're going to have one on the, going around these two buildings and one up in the woods up by the Bixby House. I'll show you in a minute. So pretty excited about this. What's happening, my man? This is the, the mastermind behind all the Rock bands. <laughs> he's, he's setting up Rockstock for us, Keith Gordon. He's also the, the uh, drummer for SGT, Screwed, Glued, and Tattoo. They won the Battle of the Bands here, so we figured who better to pick out the bands than the best drummer east of the river. So <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> yeah. I would. Hey, you, 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 you might as well claim it, man. You guys won the Battle of the Bands okay. out of 11 bands, you know? And it wasn't because you had a shitty drummer, that's for sure. <laughs> so they took home the gold. So I'm going to shoot you to Bob. Um... Keith and I are going out today to buy it. What are we doing today, Keith? We're going to buy a drum set, a How, house drum set. A house drum set for what? For the events and the new bar. For Rockstock. For Rockstock and all the other events. Absolutely. So this is a, not every day you have a hearse behind your building. Uh, with a, with a, we uh, got two coffins for the event. That's our smokestack. You got to have a big party if you have a big smokestack. So this building is going to be incredible when it's done. This building has a 50 foot uh, by 50 foot foot plan, plan with 30 foot ceilings and we want to turn this into a, a bar uh, with a huge cro magnon fireplace outside here that you can do like pig roast and cook like 30 chickens at a time this all be pavers in the middle we want to strip this building down to the bones and or dismantle it and rebuild it as a bit as a band stage and as you can see we've got um buildings all the way around so it'll be a natural that's the museum up in the, in the front there we have buildings all the way around that'll be like a natural amphitheater it's going to be absolutely insane so stay tuned Let's introduce you to Bob, the mastermind behind the Scary Fright Fest. Bob, what's going on, my man? Hey, so we're building out two attractions here. We're you want to film this? Over the woods and doing a crazy big walk. Good to see you. Hey, thanks, 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 for, thanks for taking care of this. Of course, of course. Of course. Of course. So this is a man. He has a the most successful um, Fright Fest. Uh, definitely in Connecticut. You've been in business. What, where's your helper? What's your name? Kara. Kara, come on out here, honey. Okay. Kara, how you doing? Good, how are you? This is his right-hand woman right here. Kara, how you doing? <laughs> I, I've heard this story, but come a little closer here. I want these guys to tell the story themselves, and uh, this is why we hired them. These guys absolutely love what they do. They're absolutely obsessed with it, and they're the best in the business. How long have you been doing it? Since 2007. Since 2007? 2007. So 12 project. years. How, how old are you? I'm only 26. So you started when you were like 14? Yeah. <laughs> you have no so idea. You were one of the helpers like yep. um, that got inspired. Uh, to do what you're, you're, you're doing. And you're gonna yeah. hire a bunch of kids. We're gonna go to all the local art and uh, college um, art classes, acting classes. Yep, acting classes, all the drama clubs. Drama clubs, and we're gonna hire as many, well, uh, hopefully get volunteers, uh, as many volunteers yeah. as we can. But this can turn into a career. Kara, tell me about, how, how old are you? Um, I'm 22. She's 22, and you're 26? Yep. And you started when you were? 16? 16 years 16, old. Yeah. You joined so, me in 2000. So you've been, you've been with it for six years now, right? Yep. So she started, at a young age and got obsessed with it too. Now you're full time both doing this. They have the most successful Fright Fest around. They got billboards all over the place. Tell us a little about your operation, where it is, and how you're gonna recreate that in Rockville for us. Yes, yeah, so uh, our location's in Stratford right now. We're all indoors there. We got 23,000 square feet. And uh, we build out these crazy massive, uh, highly detailed attractions. She does all the cool set design and stuff like that. And it's uh, drawn of people we have a crew of a little over 100 different volunteers wow from the ages of 16 to i think our oldest one's almost 80. Yeah. wow she comes every day so people love it find other people who enjoy this stuff scaring the hell out of people is a lot of fun so your location it's actually in, a, in an old um valleys so a valleys yeah, fitness yep. so it's a 23,000 square foot indoor attraction which is great for them because they can do it rain or shine ours is going to be all outdoors here which is a little more risky but we're going to be doing it for most of the month of october so we hope it really pans out 23,000 square feet over 100 people working on it and their stuff is off the hook he's been doing this full time for over a decade you coming up on a decade and they started um you know, at a young age and learn from the best, and now they, they, they are the best. So that's kind of, that's kind of how it works in in, uh, in any 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 um, art or hobby or, or uh, uh, vocation, whether it's racing motocross or the guy behind the camera, the drummer here, Keith Gordon. He didn't become 
Battle of the Bands drum winner by resting on his laurels. He's been busting his ass for 30 years uh, drumming. So uh, that's how that's how you get to be the best. You dedicate your life to it. So we figured we wanted to do a haunted house. It's the first thing my kids said. My kids, um, well, when we got this place, it was, let's see, it was um, about eight years ago. So my kids were uh, 15, 16, and uh, eight when we got here. So they really... They're like, Dad, this would be a kick-ass place for a haunted house. And we had a lot of um, challenges to get through before we got the CO. So we got the motorcycle museum over, open. We got the motor motorcycle restoration sales and service shop open. And this is our next big challenge. We have Rock Sock coming up, 21 bands, three days. Doug Danger doing a jump. That's coming up in four weeks from today. And then we have the mini bike uh, madness event. We have the motorcycle mania, which is being transplanted from Middletown to here. Uh, that was a huge event in Middletown. I hope it's not quite that big the first year here. They had 22,000 people. Um, that was 40 minutes away. So like uh, Motorcycle Mania moving here is kind of like the Freight Fest thing moving here. We can take all their knowledge and all their information and all their contacts and, and everything, but it's not going to bloom overnight. It's going to be a lot of hard work. We're hoping we'll break even the first year. Um, we're investing quite a bit of money and time into this. There was a team of, uh, I don't know, 15 guys here this morning unloading two truckloads of stuff. There's a lot of people behind the scenes helping this happen. We have to work with the town. We have a meeting, we have a meeting with all the town players, uh, the fire marshal, building official, zoning officer, uh, the town planner, um, the town attorney, uh, in two weeks yep. from this Wednesday. Yep. And this is where uh, all his expertise is going to come in because he's got a letter of reference from the fire marshal in uh, his town about how excellent their event has been and how it impacted so many kids in a positive way and it gives everybody something to work towards and makes makes uh, the fall season a lot of fun. So tell me, what, what do you like best about this? What hooked you on, on doing this? Um, just the, the, the experience of making something for other people to enjoy. Like I started as an actor in acting school and I still like it every now and then, but the behind the scenes aspect and just creating something that a lot of people get to go out and enjoy was cool. World's best little detailer right here. I yeah. see, I see your, your artwork is fantastic. I'm really excited to have you here Thank on the you. project. <laughs> I'm looking forward to working with you over the next six months. How many, how many months do we have? Was it 15, uh, five, 15 16 weeks? Uh, what is it? Yeah, it's just April, about. May, June, July, August, September, October. So we got about, um, about 20 weeks to get our act together because we're starting this about four weeks before Halloween. So we'll have a big Halloween party here, and I'm sure Keith will be playing here with his band every Friday night. We've got live music here at the museum. So the, you'll have the, um, the, the bike night going on. Hopefully we'll have the bar open. And we'll have the museum obviously open. So if you want to come here with your kids, tour the museum while they're doing one of two Fright Fest walks or both. Uh, we have one in the woods up there, which is going to be awesome. And one down here around these stereo buildings. So um, how did you make the transition from this being a hobby to being a vocation where you get to do what you love to do and get paid for it? Um, I was very lucky to meet this guy. <laughs> the brain, yeah. 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 Just, I uh, volunteered for two years and then we just became close and the third year I helped in the ticket booth and then the fourth year is when we moved to a new spot and kind of exploded. So you guys, um, I'm sure there's certain things you do and what, how do, what's the synergy between the two of you? Uh, what, what, what are the roles? Well, she's like a third hand for me. I, you know, it's really useful. I never let her go. Um, and you know, so I, I can say something and she's the one that's able to bring it to life and really make it crazy. So I do a lot of the planning and all like the uh, behind the scenes like professional stuff and doing all the sketches and the layouts and making everything right and you know, a little closer all the, the code the audio is stuff. kind of not so good yeah. and uh, then she brings it to life so whenever I'll put the walls up she makes them look good so awesome yeah so it, it's a it's a teamwork thing you've worked over six years and I'm, I'm sure uh, you, you wouldn't let her go for all the tea in China because it's really hard to find good people that <laughs> understand your vision so um, how are you going to balance uh, running your place which has been up and running for over a decade and creating another one here in Rockville with us. How do you do that? Well, the lucky thing is I'm indoors and I have the building year round. So we took on, uh, you know, once we knew we were doing this project, we started our renovations early so we had more time to free up so we could be here as well. Awesome, awesome. Well, I'm really excited about this. Uh, this is the first video. This is the first public announcement of the uh, Fright Fest we're going to have here other than it, having it on our schedule. But I'm going to start uh, uh, doing videos, and as we start creating the props, there's some coffins here and some big scary monsters and all kinds of stuff that roll in that's in storage. I, I showed you the Hearst over there. But all this really cool stuff is going to start rolling, and we're going to start building the, the set. And uh, as it evolves, we'll have a... Uh, um, Kind of like this is part one of a vlog on the series. So thank you for um, 
listening, and uh, thank you for doing the camera work, Mr. Drummer. And we're gonna go buy a drum set for Rockstock right now. That's, that's what we're doing. We gotta we gotta come up with a schedule for 20 bands to play in three days. So. Time slots, yeah. Time slots. So that's what we're doing today. All thank you so much, man. And thanks for coming down on Sunday. This is how great things happen. You come in and work your butt off on the weekends because there's no traffic on the extra mile. So stay tuned and God bless America.